Amphros, dragon typing. This is a similar case with another mega evolution, Charizard X, where the fact that it was given this particular typing was no mere coincidence, and in fact, this ties back into what it is based on, which is no different for Amphros, most particularly with a statement during the development of Gold and Silver stating how it originally was a dragon and electric typing, but was removed in the final release, which in my opinion is likely due to how overpowered it would have been to travel throughout the early routes with a dragon, considering how the dragon typing was balanced like before generation 6. But I digress. Its link to dragons is backed up with its name etymologies in Japanese, Korean, and Chinese contain the word for dragon respectively, hence calling it an electric dragon. It's even suggested, especially by its mega, that it could have been based on Chinese dragons, which would also explain why its dex entry for its mega form states how it has dormant, quote, dragon blood, which seems to suggest that regular Amphros does have draconic DNA in its cells, and the mega evolution phenomenon simply drew them out. And let's not forget the decent amount of dragon type moves it can already learn. So in essence, Amphros could have been the original electric and dragon combo before Zekrom. The Miss Magia Slime, Dark Typing. Admittedly, while this would ruin its status as being the first ever pure ghost type, there are quite a few indicators for the dark typing that just can't be denied. Let me show you. They have been able to learn a fair amount of dark type moves already, even now, mind you. There's also their name etymologies like mischievous, containing the words for mischievous, muma that describes a demon in a nightmare, mischief, and flat out evil, while mismagius simply contains words describing it to bewitch someone and as a demon. This could stem from the inspirations from mythological creatures like the Banshee and the Nukebiki. All this may explain why in their dex entries it especially emphasizes how both of them are very sadistic and how they like to frighten and scream at people, potentially yanking their hair to scare and startle them for amusement and in order to gain nutritious energy for themselves. Meanwhile, Miss Magius seems to love appearing out of nowhere and inflicting curses and chanting incantations which give people terrifying visions or hallucinations and causes them awful headaches. The anime even takes it one step further by echoing similar statements from their death entries and showcasing both their ability to create illusions seemingly for their own pleasure. And just like other dark type Pokemon like Murkrow, for the majority of the time within the games, they only come out at night, like Mount Silver, Howley Cemetery, Stone Tooth Rose, and Glacido Mountain, to name a few. Stantler, Psychic Typing. Despite the fact that it got a Hiswin form that is now Psychic Typing, not only does that blatantly confirm that Stantler itself does have have psychic powers, but also that it doesn't excuse the plethora amount of reference to its psychic type capabilities it possesses. It in and of itself is clearly capable of learning a lot of psychic type moves next to normal type ones, including a signature move Psy Shield Bash, and also they are capable of creating illusions, bewitching people, and distorting reality with its antlers, which demonstrates psychic powers or enigma phenomenons, and something that was shown in the anime too. In fact, according to Waydeer's description on the official Pokemon website, it implies that the evolution of Stanley into Waydeer is a result of it developing its psychic powers, and the Pokedex seems to contextualize it as regular Stantler have rather weak psychic powers, whereas the Stantler from the History region who lived in harsh environments had much stronger psychic powers, thus allowing it to evolve under those powers. But just like a lone executor, the fact that it can display any amount of psychic powers is enough in my opinion to give it such a type, and might have been if not for regional balancing reasons. What do you guys think? Am I the only one here? Houndoom, Poison Typing. Let me entertain you with this possibility. From what we are told about Houndoom, its dex entries point out how its flames can be mixed and infused with poisons produced from its guts when attacking aggressively, implying that it can store such toxins within its body, just like most other poison type Pokemon. 
and this is despite the fact that it learns little to no poison type moves, although the fact that it can learn poison type moves may derive from its inspiration to the Cerberus from Greek mythology that has mentions of it producing toxic from its mouth or having a venomous mouth. Sceptile, Dragon Typing Just like with the previous aforementioned Pokemon with Mega Forms, while it could be argued that Sceptile was already part Dragon thanks to its Mega Form, regular Sceptile can arguably pull off the Dragon Typing since for the longest time it's been a part of the Dragon Air Group which implies that Sceptile is based off something draconic in nature, which is suggested to be potentially dinosaurs, lizards and or reptiles like the leaf-tailed geckos, which in the Pokemon world would translate to dragon typing as shown with Tyrantrum and Cyclozar, for example. This may also explain why it can acquire numerous dragon moves upon evolving, like Dolchop. Volbeat and Illumise, flying typing. Two words. Why not? Well, besides the fact that, you know, they can fly with its wings, as shown in the anime itself and stated in their dex entries verbatim, not to mention both of their sprites both in 3D and 2D shows them both using their wings even in their walking animation in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and while both don't learn a lot of flying type moves despite all of that, judging by their Pokemon category they're based on on fireflies or perhaps beetles, likely ones that are known to fly, though the fact that Beautyfly and Masquerain exist within the same generation, it may clue into why it wasn't given this typing, otherwise there would have been four bug and flying types. Torko, Rock Typing Torko is very much like Colossal, particularly with its connection to coal, that its rock-like shell is suggested to be made out of which is known as a sedimentary rock, preference rock, and this is present in its name across every language, its Pokemon category, and in its dex entries detailing how it likes to dig around in coal mines and mountains for it. Not to mention that it can already learn a decent amount of rock type moves. Also, on the thought of Colossal, it might have even be arguable for it to be part ground type too, considering it can be found in dry and arid environments like many other ground type Pokemon like Camerupt and Groudon as examples, such as aforementioned mountains and rocky terrains as shown in the game such as Route 227, Stark Mountain, Fury Path, and Pot Bottom Tunnel to name a few. And let's not forget the plethora of amounts of ground type moves it can already learn. So with all that said, I'd say it's plausible. What do you guys think? Trapinch, bug typing. Trapinch's rather insectoid like appearance may not actually be a coincidence, as judging by its Pokemon category, it may tie into its inspiration of ants or the larval form of ant lines, which, considering the existence of Durant, that should translate into the bug typing. And its text entries in the games and anime seem to mirror the behavior of regular ant lions with how they dig pits in the desert and catch prey. Even its name etymology in German and Mandarin Chinese seems to reflect this verbatim. No wonder why it's been categorized in the bug egg group since its debut, as well as explains its ability to learn a decent amount of bug type moves already, and even more so when it evolves. Bayonet, Dark Typing. It's unbelievable to me that it's not part dark typing, maybe because Sableye was introduced in the same generation perhaps, but the evidence is still apparent. What can I say that hasn't been said already? Bayonet's dex entries describe it as coming to life through its strong feelings of hatred or cursed energy after being discarded and growing a grudge and vendetta against its previous owner, now seeking revenge, whatever that might be. Perhaps it might be to curse them as it's even said to lay onto others and its own trainer in its mega form by stabbing itself with pins. This is even backed up by its having the cursed body ability, the as its hidden ability, and is even noted for living in dark alleys and coming out at night just like many other dark type Pokemon, which is reflected in the games such as Stark Mountain, Route 226, and a few others to name a few. And this may stem from its origins from Haunted Dolls and the Tsukumogami Yokai, similar to Voltorb, just FYI, 
This is even present in its same etymology in Japanese, Chinese, and Korean by containing the words for curse and dark when describing it, as well as the addition of it learning quite a bit of dark type moves already. And for the record, I don't think Shuppet should be a dark type as its behavior to suck out the negative emotions of people are not entirely seen as malicious as its text entries mention how there are people who appreciate its presence and nothing else seems to reflect a darker side to it. So I'd say at least Bayonet. The Dusk Knoll line, dark typing. Similar to Bayonet, this line has a more darker side to it, especially since for one, they all can mostly be found at night, like other dark type Pokemon like Houndour and Murkrow, like on Route 209, Lost Tower, Arena's Approach, Deadwood Haunt, and even in caves such as Turnback Cave and Mount Pyre. And this is if we only include the main series games. It draws parallels from the Grim Reaper, the one who serves the tie between the soul and body, and that is apparent in Duskull's appearance and how Dusknoll reportedly guides souls into the afterlife. If we look into their name etymology, we can see Dusknoll's Chinese name etymology includes the words for demon to describe it, and Duskull's Japanese name, Yamawaru, in particular, could be interpreted in Japanese as bad ghost. This could tie into its text entries about how it supposedly spirits away disobedient children, enjoy making kids cry, and stalking its prey until dawn. Even its Pokemon category reflects this too, by the way. With Dusclops, its text entries convey how it likes to hypnotize its opponents into doing its bidding or absorb them into its body as implied by its anime dex entries too, and likely why it is categorized as the beckoning Pokemon. And Dusknoll's dex entries, it apparently steals, quote, steals humans and Pokemon away and consumes the soul of the target by swallowing its hull with its mouth on its belly. And this could tie into how both in particular are based on the Chochin Obake that surprises and sucks out the target's soul, supposedly. Even how Dusclops evolves into Dusknoll may reflect this too with the Reaper Cloth, which in Japanese is referred to as a Spirit World Cloth, not to mention it can learn an abundance of dark type moves already. With all due respect, I think they all have something malicious about them that can tie together well with their ghost typing. Absol, Psychic Typing this one I will mainly say because its deck entries in the games and anime state how it has precognition abilities, also known as psychic abilities, through its horn to sense incoming disasters which was showcased in an anime episode and where it can be found in the games which is a great attention to detail to be honest. All of which is backed up by its main inspiration of the Kubate from Japanese mythology, but Bulbapedia also mentions the Baize from Chinese mythology. Whichever one it may be, one thing is for certain is that both are described as having great intelligence, which in the Pokemon world is synonymous with psychic type Pokemon like Alakazam, as well as learning a great amount of psychic type moves already next to dark type moves. In addition to acquiring the ability of Magic Bounce, once in its mega form, likely a result from its now intimidating aura, which coincidentally is predominantly given to psychic type Pokemon. Snow Runt, Rock Typing. This one is a bit of a hot take, admittedly, because while it can't learn a whole lot of rock type moves, it is confirmed by the Pokedex that because Glalie's actual body is made up of rock, that Snow Runt's body may very well be the same and likely where Glalie's rock body derives from. And this is kind of supported by it being a part of the mineral egg group that contains Pokemon with inorganic substances or organic, rocky, and or crystalline appearances. Snow Runt in some cases can be found in arid locations such as the mountain section in the Powell Park, Outerway Cave, and deep within caves where the outside lacks snowfall just like Glalie. So while there isn't a whole lot of evidence, it certainly is arguable.